The Bandwagon, a 1953 movie, is a classic worth watching for its blend of humor, surprises, and heartfelt moments. As you dive into this film, expect to be entertained by a plethora of funny, shocking, and even touching scenes. Among the many characters, you might find yourself drawn to a particular role. Which one will capture your heart? Keep watching to discover. After the credits roll, we want to know what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Amidst the lively world of Hollywood's golden age, a timeless classic emerged that continues to charm audiences today. Picture this, it's 1953, and in the midst of the busy streets and buzzing studio lots, a film captures hearts and minds alike. Directed by Vincent Minnelli, this show stars the famous duo of Fred Astaire and Sid Cherise, whose captivating performances transport viewers into a world of glamour and intrigue. Set against the backdrop of Broadway, the story follows the journey of a washed-up Hollywood star who joins a musical production with a diverse group of characters, each with their own quirks and talents. This production is more than just a movie, it's a celebration of the art of entertainment itself. With unforgettable musical numbers, dazzling choreography, and witty dialogue, the show showcases the sheer talent and creativity of its cast and crew. From the memorable that's entertainment to the whimsical triplets, each scene is a testament to the ingenuity and artistry of the time. As audiences journey through the glitz and glamour of Broadway's heyday, they're treated to a spectacle unlike any other where dreams are made, hearts are broken, and laughter reigns supreme. And at its core, the story reminds us of the enduring power of friendship, love, and the pursuit of one's passions against all odds. Whether you're a seasoned cinephile or new to classic cinema, this production promises an unforgettable journey into the heart of Hollywood's golden age, where dreams come true and anything is possible. The Bandwagon, released in 1953, holds some interesting anecdotes behind its production. In the quest for the role of Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate, she reached out to Mike Nichols, expressing her interest bluntly. Despite her efforts, she wasn't considered seriously for the part. Leroy Daniels, a real shoe shiner and comedian, danced alongside a stare in the Shine on Your Shoes number, partly inspiring the song Chattanooga Shoe Shine Boy. Ginger Rogers and Astaire met in New York before Hollywood, dancing together at a nightclub and discussing theater business with Ginger's mother, Lella Rogers. These encounters shed light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the film. The Bandwagon, a 1953 film starring Fred Astaire and directed by Vincent Minnelli, silenced critics who doubted Astaire's abilities. Despite initial skepticism about his acting and singing skills, he showcased his exceptional dancing talent in the movie. Shelley Fabre, appearing alongside her aunt, also played a role in the film. This cinematic gem, highlighted in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, offers a detailed biography of Astaire's life and career. The bandwagon stands as a testament to Astaire's multifaceted talents, proving his critics wrong and securing a lasting place in American cinematic history. In summary, the movie is a significant milestone in Fred Astaire's career, showcasing his prowess and earning its well-deserved spot in the annals of American film. The Bandwagon, a classic film, features interesting behind-the-scenes anecdotes. In one scene, Les, the main character, visits a bar where a poster for another musical, Every Night at Seven, is visible. This musical starred Fred Astaire and Jane Powell in Royal Wedding. Nanette Fabre, a cast member, revealed in DVD bonus features that Oscar Levant, another actor, was challenging to work with. Levant often blamed others for mistakes, including Fabre. After she confronted him, his behavior improved significantly. Director Vincent Minnelli mentioned in his memoirs that Jeffrey Cordova's character drew inspiration from flamboyant personalities like Orson Welles and George S. Kaufman. Additionally, the narration style in The Girl Hunt number was influenced by Mickey Spillane's works. These insights provide a glimpse into the dynamics of the bandwagon's production, shedding light on its cast and director's experiences. The Bandwagon, a film from 1953, starred a cast member who appeared in many great movies. She acted in five films that won the Best Picture Academy Award, including It Happened One Night, You Can't Take It With You, All About Eve, The Greatest Show on Earth, and Around the World in 80 Days. She also appeared in 20 other movies nominated for Best Picture. In The Bandwagon, Sid Cherise played a significant role, but her singing voice was dubbed by India Adams. 
notably Frank Sinatra, who co-starred with her in The Barefoot Contessa, received a statue of Cherie's as a gift. He kept it in his backyard garden even after their divorce, but when he married Barbara Marks, she wanted it removed. The movie, a classic, showcases the talent of its cast, including Sherry's, whose role is still remembered and celebrated. The Bandwagon, a 1953 movie, showcased the choreographer Michael Kidd's initial trepidation in presenting his unconventional ideas for the girl Hunt Ballet to Fred Astaire. Kidd feared Astaire, known for his elegant persona, might not appreciate the departure from his usual style. However, Astaire surprised Kidd by embracing all of his concepts and even contributed some ideas of his own. Although Kidd was originally intended for the role of Cosmo Brown in Singin' in the Rain, Donald O'Connor ultimately immortalized the character on screen. The only instance of Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly dancing together in a movie, aside from their appearances in linking segments in a compilation film, was in a routine called The Babbitt and the Bromide in the 1946 movie Ziegfeld Follies. In conclusion, The Bandwagon offers insight into the collaborative dynamics between Astaire and Kidd, as well as into the career trajectories of notable figures like Kidd and O'Connor. The Bandwagon, a 1953 movie, is well remembered for its charm and the life of its star. He is survived by two daughters from his first marriage, Donna and Robin, and three stepchildren from his last marriage, Eric, Derek, and Monica. His biography is detailed in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, offering insight into his life and career. Besides his roles on screen, he was a familiar face on the Hollywood squares, where he greeted the audience with a sign language hello at the start of each episode. The movie's influence goes beyond entertainment, leaving a lasting impression on those who remember his work. In the bandwagon, the characters reflect real-life figures. Fred Astaire, contemplating retirement like Tony, embodies the struggle of a seasoned performer. Lily and Lester, portrayed by Nanette Fabre and Oscar Levant, mirror the film's screenwriters Betty Comden and Adolph Green. Jeffrey, played by Jack Buchanan, draws inspiration from Jose Fur, a Broadway powerhouse juggling productions and performances. Additionally, Jeffrey shares traits with Orson Welles, who, like him, ventured into musicals despite lacking musical experience. Just as depicted in the movie, Wells faced challenges with extravagant effects and sets that didn't fit the stage. This film earned critical acclaim, boasting a flawless Rotten Tomatoes score from 18 critic reviews. Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers showcased their chemistry in 10 films together, spanning from Flying Down to Rio to the Barclays of Broadway. In her first speaking role, she appeared in The Harvey Girls, directed by George Sidney. The iconic glass bathtub from the Girl Hunt ballet sequence was originally crafted for the women in 1939, where it was used by Joan Crawford. For Daddy Long Legs, Leslie Karen expressed her desire to design her own costumes, with Fred Astaire cautioning against feathers due to past mishaps with Ginger Rogers' attire and top hat. This incident was humorously revisited in Easter Parade, where Astaire danced with a clumsy partner portrayed by Judy Garland, recreating the floating feather scenario.